So what's it like behind the wheel of Isuzu's latest D-Max limited edition blade? Well, underneath the bonnet you have a 2.5 litre double overhead cam, 16 valve 4 cylinder twin turbo engine built to Euro 5 specification in respect of its emissions. Mated to a 6 speed gearbox, an electronic transfer gearbox which means you select from 2 wheel drive to 4 wheel drive and 4 wheel drive low by turning the knob just down here behind the gear lever. You have 163 horsepower on tap and 400 newton meters of torque. This isn't contrary to what it might look like from the outside, a performance vehicle. The first three gears are low, which means it is still a commercial vehicle at heart. Equally, even though you've got the roll top cargo bed cover, that still isn't heavy enough, even if you throw in the roll bar, to stop the leaf spring rear suspension being noticeably bouncy when traveling with next to no load on board. Equally off-road, with nothing in the back, there is little to keep the wheels down into the dirt which can at times cause them to spin up and will bring you to a halt. Apart from that, as commercial vehicles go, which as I've said at heart it is, it's pleasant enough to drive. It's very comfortable, it's a nice airy cabin. Apart from the Blade Edition's distinctive good looks, etc., beneath the side steps, the roll cage, and everything else, you still have Isuzu's hard working four wheel drive D Max. The beauty of this vehicle is it has 235mm of ground clearance, a 30 degree approach angle, a 23 degree departure angle, and a ramp over of 22 degrees. Front overhang is 905 millimetres, which means you are more than likely to have cleared any obstacle well before any form of bodywork comes into touch. At the rear, given the fact there's the big box cargo bed, it's a 1295 millimetres overhang, but providing you some common sense, you still won't ditch the back into the ground, so which means decent clearance always round and especially on the farm or anywhere like that at the building site this vehicle should cover and cross anything and everything that you're likely to ask of it as i said with the blade edition you get this it's a little bit low but i suppose for many it looks the part and you get this mountain top roll where the d-max has always won out it has one of the biggest and boxiest cargo beds got the tailgate just a matter of snapping that back and away it goes payload wise the manual six speed this one in particular has a thousand and sixty three kilogram payload the automatic slightly less to thousand and fifty eight the other benefit is both of them can have a three thousand five hundred kilogram maximum towing capacity the beauty of this is it's one of the biggest and squarest cargo beds in the business it's approximately one and a half meters by one and a half meters by half a meter deep, which means, especially due to the fact the wheel arches don't intrude and are set well back, most loads, including a Euro pallet, slip very, very nicely into the back of this vehicle, meaning it's one of the most practical of its type currently on the market. Inside the blade, it's typical, it's Yuzu, Luxury meets practicality meets utility. Hard surfaces which are easy to keep clean, nice leather steering wheel, good clear instrumentation. You've got a sat nav, six and a half inch screen. In itself it's okay, it also contains the CD. Problem is the controls down the side are virtually microscopic, which means when you're driving you most definitely have to take your eyes off the road to see what's happening and how to alter things multi-function wheel all the heater controls and everything else apart from the indicators are controlled from this large central pod and besides the six speed box two high four high and four low are operated from this rotary switch down here the only thing you've got to do from go for four high to four low is stop 
don't try and do it on the fly too high to four high on the fly four low you must stop nice leather seating extremely comfortable and there is room for five and unlike certain of the competition Ishuzu haven't pinched on the size the cargo bed is big but there is still plenty of room for three passengers in the back in comfort with plenty of leg room and plenty of headroom the Ishuzu D-Max blade might have its faults small ones at that but after you've driven one for a while you soon realize why these vehicles are win the awards they do so from this edition of Motoring Northwest, until next time, it's goodbye from me, Mark Stone, Ken the Cam here at Android with the Isuzu Blade.